and live here from the corner of West 19th Street and Surp Avenue here in Coney Island, New York, high atop the catbird seat here in MCU Park. This is Brooklyn Cyclones baseball. Welcome in. Still some rain coming down inside this ballpark today. Rain had been falling all day here in Coney Island, New York, and throughout most of the tri-state area. But thank you for joining us. I'm David Greenwald here on 90.3 WKRB. The 0 one Sound League broke his bat. It'll drop just into center field in front of the script, Brooklyn. Rounding third. As the play comes to the plate, Rivera will come in and slide in home. As the ball got past the catcher, Tejeda. As James Roach, an RBI single, and moves to second on the throw. In to score is Rivera. And just like that, the Cyclones take a 1-0 lead. Sanchez down at third, off second is James Roach, the 2-1. Back up the middle. It won't get through as Rosario behind the second base bag will throw to first. In time for the out, but the... Ground out goes 6-4, six 6-3 to six to on the RBI ground out here for Juan Gamboa. And the Brooklyn Cyclones have taken now a 2-0 lead with one on and two outs here in the bottom of the second. Here's the 2-1 comes. Obersteel fits this one just into left field as O'Neill going to have to come up throwing. Coming home here is T Arena. He'll get in the throw wide of home. And the Cyclones getting a lot off David Palladino here. There's the sixth hit. And run number three off the RBI single here for Matt Oberste. Now 3-0 Brooklyn. No balls and two strikes. Base is loaded. The pitch on the ground to short. Rosario bobbles it there and everybody will be safe. Would have been a tough play as he was trying to backhand. So an RBI single here for Alex Sanchez on the infield single. Everybody safe as in the score comes LJ Mazzilli. 4-0 Brooklyn. 1-2. Drifted out to left. And if that one's fair, it's gone. And it's fair and gone. Over the wall and out of the park. And there breaks up the string. Brooklyn through their first 14 games on the year. Had not First 13 had not given up a round tripper. But Isaiah Tejeda rips one out down the left field line. And the Staten Island Yankees are on the board. It's a 4-1 ball game. Diaz deals the 2-2 pitch to call their own. This one line into left center field. It'll get down for a base hit and more. It'll go all the way to the wall before Biondi fields. One run is in. Two runs are in. Coming home is a play. The plate is going to be not in time. Is Brandon Thomas all the way around from first and a three-run bases clearing double here for Yisak call their own. The 2-1-2 out pitch to Roach. Lifted out to right center. Thomas, though, ranging over. That way to get over his head and roll to the right center field wall. Roach digs around second. Still on his way to third. The throw will not come to there. He slides over the bag, but he's in time as that turf took him on his way to third base and appears to be okay. And the winning one for Brooklyn is down at third with the batter of Juan Gamboa coming up. Tuffle stares back O'Neal. He'll go, and they'll get him picked off. Oberstie will throw to short. t Arena applies the tag. And the pickoff goes 1-3-6. Getting out O'Neal at second base. Good job by Tuffle and a benefit of having a lefty on the hill. 1-3-6 pickoff. The 2-2 driven deep out to right. Roach back at the warning track. A leap at the wall. And it's into the bleachers, over the wall, and out of the park. And Yisak called the roan. His second extra base hit of the night. And this one comes back to burn the Cyclones here. The second round tripper given up tonight by the Cyclones, and it's called their own touches home. He's played it four runs tonight, and it's a 5-4 Staten Island Yankees lead. The 0-2 pitch. Biondi grounds it up the middle and through. Rounding third is Gamboa. The throw at home will not be in time as it's cut off by the first baseman, and Pat Biondi registers his first hit of the ball game. An RBI single where no one was covering. Gamboa comes in from second. And we're all tied here at five at the bottom of the 10th inning. Infield in the 0-2. Lifted into right center, drifting over his Roach. He'll watch it bounce in front. He'll come home with the throw. And the throw going to be close. It was in time, but it bounced into Rohan. So a single out to right here for Mike O'Neill. Brings in a run. And for the second straight inning, Staten Island goes back on top. It is now 6-5. to five. Staten Island here in the Top of the 11th, 3 2 1 out pitch to call their own. Lined to the first baseman. He'll go to short for one, and that's all they can get. And no, they don't give it to him. So a run comes in, and they won't give the out to T Arena as he, on the transfer, lost it out of his mitt. 
And Rich Donnelly will make the slow walk out to talk to the base umpires. It looked like the out was there. And now he's actually to talk to home plate umpire Matt Winters. Either way, it should go down as the third error of the game. It'll go down as an E6 as this stands here. As in to score is Toadvine. And Staten Island has extended their lead. It's now 7-5. to five. Two gone here in the bottom of the 11. The 7-5 to five Staten Island Yankees lead. The 0-1. Roach will drive it out to left field. That one is in the air. It'll get off the wall. In to score is one. In to score is two. And James Roach stands on second base. It is a 7-7 ball game. Here in the bottom of the 11th inning as Roach drove that about as far as you can in left center field off the double high wall. Tie game at seven. The arena deals, the 0-1 lifted high out to left and Rivero not even get a look. Looking is giving the home plate umpire a signal around and it's a home run out to left field. The third home run of the night given up by Cyclones pitching as T Arena serves one up here to Daniel Lopez. And just like that, Staten Island is back on top. It is an 8-7 ball game.